This is a 5 milliwatt laser, the most powerful laser we can buy as a toy in any store. And this is my 500 watt laser, a laser 100,000 times more powerful than the previous one. One in this video. One I'm going to show you a project one I've been working on for four years. In fact, one started it in 2018. One wanted to make the most powerful homemade laser in the world, trying to reach about 500 watts of power. 200 watts may not seem like much. It's only half of what a hairdryer consumes. But for a laser, this number is something abysmal. To understand this, let's look at it as follows. In the U.S., selling a laser over 5,000 W is prohibited without authorization as pointing such a laser at the eyes would cause permanent vision damage. Now, if we combine 205 min W lasers, we would get a 1W laser. And the laser we are going to make today has 500, that is 100,000 times the power of the most powerful laser that you can freely buy. Needless to say, this is absolutely dangerous. Without the proper protection, this laser would instantly blind you for life without even having to look at it directly. We'll talk about that later. Let's start with the fact that getting a 500 watt laser is impossible, unless we have access to military weaponry, which we don't, but we can get 252 watt lasers each, which is the same. There are various electronic products from where we can get them. One chose to take them from old broken projectors. That one could get for a couple of dollars on eBay without any kind of problems. Nowadays, these projectors are made with other technologies. One won't mention the models one purchased. One believe handling them without proper precautions is very dangerous. So one spent some time collecting projectors, and one took advantage of a friend traveling to the United States and asked him if he could bring them for me. Obviously not the whole projector, but to disassemble it and bring me just the piece one needed. Otherwise, he would have to bring a huge suitcase. The lasers come in a module called a laser array. They are lasers placed very close together. They have an aluminum heat sink and on top, a chamber with many little mirrors. This is so because in this way, all the lasers that go up bounce and change their trajectory. One in this way, a well together laser light beam is achieved that looks like a single one. This is known as knife edges. One of the reasons why one took so long with this project is because one couldn't find suitable protective glasses. At least in my country, they were impossible to get. These, for example, are common glasses. See how the light passes? With polarized ones, the same. These are the best laser protection glasses one could get in my country, supposedly for blue laser, or as you had said, a wave of 445 nanometers and nothing. The same, the laser passes as if nothing. One brought these glasses from the U.S., the most expensive part of the project, at around $100, but they have a protection certification, and as you can see, the laser can't penetrate them. To clarify, these glasses only work for the blue laser of 445 nanometers. If we wanted to work with a green or red laser, these glasses would be the same as not wearing any protection. One started wiring all the modules. It should be clarified that each module consumes about 4 amps at 27 volts, around 100 watts. So we have to use cables that can withstand this current flow. It should also be clarified that about half of the power is wasted in the form of heat. To power them, one I'm going to use 5 250 watt drivers each, which can deliver up to 10 amps each. Laser diodes are very fragile components, but as this is going to be a pulsed laser, we don't need many protections on the driver. One wanted to be portable, so one I'm going to use two six-link lithium polymer batteries each. These batteries can deliver hundreds of amps continuously, which makes them perfect for the project. To turn it on, one used a simple computer switch that activates a car starter relay, which can also handle hundreds of amps. And to protect everything, one put a safety switch, which is a 63 amp thermal. Now it was time to assemble everything. One discovered that the best way to position the lasers would be by making a kind of circuit or death star, as one call it. One printed a base where to put them all aligned and screwed them so they are firm. 
One also printed a base for the drivers and another base to put the batteries, and they are also protected. To finish, one soldered the small things like the XT60 connectors of the battery, some voltage converters for the relay, a handle to hold it, and one decorated it with a blue neon thread. After soldering the wires and assembling everything, it increasingly seemed like one was making some kind of Soviet machinery. But anyway, by nature, the laser tends to emit a very straight light. But as it gains distance, it inevitably widens. Because of this, one wanted to concentrate all the lasers on a very small point to thus unleash all the concentrated and focused laser power. For this, one got this. This is a flat convex lens with a diameter of 21 centimeters. Weighing about two kilos, it's ideal for this purpose. As light passes through, the convex shape bends and converges all the lasers at a precise point. Since one needed to place them 70 centimeters from the lasers, one had to adapt some supports. One crafted them from metal for sturdiness and secured them to the aluminum blocks to prevent movement. One T was very firm. One held the lens using two anchors with the same shape as the lens, which secured it well so it wouldn't move. One printed these anchors using black PLA plastic from my friends at Krylon 3, which is the brand One always use in all projects because of their excellent quality. One also soldered a handle that this time one made out of metal because it didn't fit in my printer, so one made it out of bent metal and it fit well. To finish, one secured it well with some zip ties and it doesn't move at all. One constructed a structure that solders metals. This also provides support since the laser is heavy. Now it was complete and prepared for testing. First, one wanted to burn some things. For example, what would happen if we touched the laser? For that, one put this sausage and pointed it there. The laser is so powerful that in the room I'm in, the camera automatically goes out of focus due to the drastic change in light. But well, almost instantly, the sausage starts to burn and smoke. One did a survey on one Instagram asking what they would like me to burn, and this was some of the things they asked for. One tried a piece of meat to see how it was, and it also started to burn very quickly. It even made a bit of noise, and if we left it longer, we might even be able to eat it. The chocolate was indeed curious. The laser heats up so much that it doesn't even give things time to melt, so it automatically turned into a kind of charcoal. One put a thermometer to see what it marked. One pointed at the little ball at the bottom that takes the temperature, and the temperature rose so quickly that it passed the maximum line of the thermometer and exploded from the bottom and from the top. And to finish, why not explode a couple of balloons? Basically, they explode instantly when they touch the laser. But see what it does to the wood. It automatically burns and catches fire. And even as we move the laser, it leaves a black stain everywhere we point. Don't forget that the only thing we're throwing at the wood is light, plain, and simple. That seems incredible to me. And now one wanted to do a couple of tests outside my house to see how far it would go. For that one went to the highest place. One had the terrace of a building. Right in front, one had a huge park so there one could test it calmly. And one started to point it at the sky to test it. One also previously checked on the internet that no plane passes and one started to light it. The whole machine looks like a giant size lightsaber. Honestly, one have no way of knowing how far it goes if some come up with how to measure this. Or if they come up with what else one could burn with a laser, leave it in the comments and one will be testing it and posting it on my one Instagram account, The Hack Life. One also did a couple of tests there in my living room. One turned it on and it's crazy what you see. One is amazing. One saw it on video and was amazed because obviously with the glasses you can't see it. But it's crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. One F you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. See you in the next video. Bye. A hundred thousand times more powerful than the previous one. One forgot to turn it on.